What's going on everybody? Today's video is going to be a phantom guide specifically for foot sites. I've been getting a lot of um, questions on my first video where I uh, first foot sites live cop with the uh, Air Jordan 1 game Royals about random stuff with foot sites. So I thought I'd make a video specifically for how to set up tasks, cookie generation, um, proxies, um, and all that stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. So as soon as you load up Phantom, you'll get, you know, this screen, obviously. Um, and start off with foot sites are foot locker, foot action, champs, and east bay. So I'm just going to start off with foot locker, but it basically applies to everything. So you're going to pick your region. I'm just going with the US. And then for the URL slash SKU, most of the time you're going to be using the SKU, which you can get from the Phantom Discord, or if you go onto footlocker.com, if you go to footlocker.com and pick a random shoe, it will be the SKU will be down here in the product number. So if we put that in um, in here, that will be where you'd put the the SKU. But you're gonna get it from the Phantom Discord in the release guide. Um, the SKU should not be should not be hard to find. Size, you can pick a certain size that you want to go for, including um, grade school sizes and all that. Or you can do multi-sizing, where you can select a range of, sh or not a range, but specific sizes that you would want the bot to pick from. So if we wanted sizes seven through nine, you do 7.0, 7.5, 8.0, 9.0, 10.0, 11.0, 12.0, 13.0, 14.0, 15.0, 9.0. So another question that people seem to keep asking is whether to put the point zero after whole sizes, um, like that or like this. And for foot sites, you're going to want to put the point zero, at least on Phantom, I'm pretty sure, because if you don't, it might not pick it up. Um, but on other sites, it's different. So but if we're just talking about foot sites, you're going to want to put the point zero after every whole um, size instead of the half sizes. So if we then go to quantity, um, if you just put one in here and you select only one profile, it'll only make one task. But if you select use all profiles and you have seven profiles, it'll make seven tasks. So I hope that makes sense. Um, checkout mode. Lately on Phantom, we've uh, they've been recommending no pre-cart mode. Um, they recently disabled all of these and made them no pre-cart. So, but if but make sure to check the guide and as well they recommend to use desktop. Um, so yeah, just check the guide. Make sure you uh, select the right mode. Most of the time, it's probably going to be this mode, um, and use desktop. So, if we hit create here and then go to tasks, we'll see that. A task has been made for each of my profiles because um, I only put in quantity one but I selected use all profiles um, so on the left here you'll have the sizes that it's going for it'll probably cut most of them off it'll have your SKU slash URL and site profile and your status so the next thing I'm going to go over is cookie harvesting um, if you click this button right here you this little thing will show up whoops and it'll show you, if you select the site, it'll show you how many cookies you have. Um, there's a quick way to generate cookies. There, I'll leave a link in the video description for how to do it, but I'll also just show you real quick. Um, it was The guide was made by somebody from the Phantom support team. So if you make sure you install the, the uh, cookie extension um, on the Discord, they've recently had to do an updated one where you have to download it and up, um, put it on your, your Chrome via developer mode. Um, that video, I'll link that video also in the video description. But you'll go in here and you'll select Foot Locker and you'll press this. Um, but first I wanna show you that you're gonna need iNinja VPN, um, easy auto refresh, and this automatic random mouse clicker, which I have over here. I don't know why it's so big. 
um, but you're going to need this as well. And this is, these are the, the settings that you're going to want for this. So if you want to just pause the video, this shortcut key can be whatever you want. And you'll just click in here and then do the, the key that you want and then click assign. Um, so you're going to, I'm just going to show you how to do it here. We're going to a foot locker, press start on this. It's going to start getting cookies immediately and you sh on your local IP, but eventually it will slow down and you'll see that this number is going up right now. Um, it should get a decent amount of cookies this way, but if you, you're gonna need it even more. So click on this easy auto refresh once you have it downloaded, select it to five seconds, click start, and then change your IP location to anywhere in the US basically, if you're running on Foot Locker US. And so you'll turn that on and then you'll use the key assignment that you've clicked here to um, start it. So mine's F6 and you're gonna position your cursor on this top top bar here. And this goes for all foot sites. So it's now started and it's getting cookies. You can see on the cookie extension that the numbers are going up. Um, this is a really quick way to get cookies besides like clicking around and all that stuff. And the random nature of the, the random clicker will help you from getting duplicates and that kind of thing. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to shut this off real quick. But now you'll see I have more cookies than I had before. I had like 150 before. So moving on to profiles. Foot sites don't like you to jig your profiles, meaning putting random letters in front. So like if your your address was 111 test street, they don't seem to like your address if you put like three random letters in front of it like you would for any normal like address jig. Um, so don't do that. Just do your regular address and no like apartment number if you don't, if you're not in an apartment. But change your phone number and email address and your payment information so that you can get multiple um, checkouts with different profiles. Moving on to this tab. Again, read the, uh, the guides that Phantom puts out for retry and error delay, but 5,000 seems to work for me. But just go anywhere in the range that they say. It should be around five seconds. For proxies, I normally go with um, residential proxies versus data center because you can get more proxies for one and for um, second point is that data center proxies can get banned they are faster but speed is not necessarily the most important thing when it comes to foot sites um, having a lot of tasks trying to check out at once is more of the way that you're going to get success on foot sites anyway um, another thing going back to cookies is you're going to need a cookie to add to cart and an, another cookie to check out I believe I know for sure you need one to add to cart so and it's going to keep trying even though it'll say like access denied or like not um, could not add to cart or out of stock or whatever even though it's not so that's why you're going to need a lot of cookies um, they recommend I think it's three to five per cookies per task but I tend to go double triple that just to be safe and to run for restocks afterwards so you're probably going to end up with a thousand to fifteen hundred cookies if you want a decent number of pairs but it's really not that hard to do it might take an hour or two of your time um, and make sure you generate your cookies within 48 hours of release i tend to start generating um, at around like 46 hours before release and then more within 24 hours of the release so I do like half and half um, but that's just me you can do whatever you want but try to make sure it's as close to the um, release day as that um, another just like basic thing is that if you're running on a lot of different foot sites at once 
I would recommend exporting your tasks by hitting this export button, like make your tasks ahead of time for Foot Locker for one, and then export those and name it Foot Locker, and then make your East Bay, your Champs, your Foot Action sites, and export all those separately. And then once drop time comes, you import, start all, um, import, start all, import, start all, so you don't have 300 tasks, 400, 500 tasks starting at once and potentially crashing Phantom. Um, another thing for profiles is that I would recommend exporting your jig profiles if you if you have profiles that are jigged and um, naming them as your jig profiles and then editing all your profiles that you have inside Phantom to be not jigged and then export those as non-jigged and then when you import them again it'll just overwrite and they'll all be non-jigged again if that makes sense and then when you need your jigged ones again you import your jigged ones and it won't mess anything up it'll just change everything to the jigged version that you had before another thing with foot sites is that they have a ton of errors all the time um, and it might you know intimidate or scare newer newer users you know, seeing um, could not add to cart, out of stock, all that stuff, it won't, it'll, you know, look really bad. It looked like you're, you're going to be taking an L on the release. But my number one tip is to just keep running if you can. If you run out of cookies, it's kind of tough luck. It's hard to generate cookies during a big release because they have the waiting room. Um, so that's why I try to jig as many and more than I think I'll even need just to cover all bases. Um, because each task will be trying to add to cart using cookies at a decent rate. So just keep running through the errors. Like don't stop tasks very often unless they just, unless the proxies for those are really, really slow or something. Um, but yeah, just keep, keep running and you'll most likely check out on a few if you have a decent number of tasks. Um, another thing is that you'll get the error called, um, error vaulting card or error error with the address or something like that. Um, the vaulting card error is something kind of unique to foot sites. They like scan your card or like they don't like your card for some reason. Um, so you kind of have, to, I would recommend running a few tasks like with each of your profiles that you want to use. And if you get that vaulting card error, then don't use that profile for, for foot sites or for you know, Foot Locker might not like it, but Champs might be okay with it. So um, I know like my Discover cards don't work for some reason, but again, try yours. And I know privacy cards work pretty well. So if you don't have any card, like real cards that work, I would recommend going to privacy and making some virtual cards because um, those seem to do pretty well on foot sites. Um, another one of my just big uh, things to keep in mind is just follow the guide and like read it through completely. There's a lot of people that don't read and then they end up with an L because they didn't read the guide all the way. So yeah, have enough cookies, follow the guide, keep running through errors and you should be good to go. Um, these releases take a long time. Usually you'll probably be sitting at your computer for 45, 40 minutes to an hour on big releases because the website's kind of slower you know so yeah i hope that this was helpful for you if you have any additional questions add them in the comments and i'll probably make if there's a lot of stuff that i missed i'll either make a new video or um pin a comment with some extra things that you need to uh keep in mind but yeah stay safe everybody you know with all the stuff that's going on right now um hope you guys are doing well um and i'll be back with more live cop videos here soon probably since some things got delayed um yeezy's got delayed jordan's got delayed so um i'll be back with that at some point and i'll see you guys in the next one